So people are asking me, Steve, why don't you do Aries readings? Uh, it's because I don't get many views, Aries. So if you're, if I can get 200 likes on this video for Aries, and this is going to be for the majority of them, if I can get 200 likes, I'll do you more videos, okay? So please don't skip the like button. It doesn't take a second. It, it helps me out. It's not anything that, that infects you. Uh, I'm also, okay, so I'm also having an infection. So uh, an inspection. Okay, so some of you might have a house inspection or like a cleanly inspection, like say if you uh, work in a restaurant or anything like that, okay, this is normally where health and safety have to come around and do a um, an inspection for somewhere that you're working or somewhere that you are living. Now, I'm also hearing the, the name Livy or Lithuania or the name Wayne or anybody's got like W in their name, Wayman. Okay, but like oh, we've got to have an inspection, but this can be literally anywhere where there's like a kitchen or food. Um, I suppose it would be like elderly residents and stuff if you work there. Uh, this could be uh, like, say, if you've got a flat or something and it's not yours and it's a uh, landlord and the landlord has to come around and they're like, right, we need to do an inspection. That is one big message that they keep saying. So I don't know if that's really important to you guys. So are you called Tina or are you a cleaner? Uh, Cortina is a car, so it might be dealing with a Life Path 7 or a Cancerian. And we're having an inspection. Some of you could have a chest infection, is also what I'm hearing. Like, I have an infection, or a chest infection, or an x-ray, <coughs> as I cough. But, like, I have an infection. <laughs> that could be your ex. <laughs> They're normally classed as an infection. Um... But, like, I have an infection or something like that. Okay, like chest x-ray. Could have something to do with this stomach if you've got, like, Capricorn or Life Path 6 Capricorn or Gemini. Um, Capricorn have been coming up, like, with this stomach ulcer or stomach infection. Just happened to do an Aries reading and infection keeps coming up. Okay, now it could be someone that you know. If you know someone that's having, like, a hospital visit or something like that then they could have an infection. Okay, infectious disease. Infectious. For some reason, I was hearing the name Rebecca as well. Rebecca, or anybody's got R in their name, or Lars, or Laura, even. Stephen. Um, okay, so let's see. Lucy, Lucifer. There's a Capricorn energy here. It's really what I'm hearing. Um... So how are you, Aries? Like I said, make sure that you click that like button. If I can get 200 likes, I'll continue to do Aries readings. But I need 200 likes. When I look back after a few days or a week or a month, depending on how quick there is likes, 200. Okay, so Aries. What's going on with Aries? So you got the moon, Aries. I will go down on the table and show you the cards in a moment. Uh, you got the Wheel of Fortune. Um, something could be wrong with the mother here, the mother, okay, so if you've got children, those messages at the beginning could have something to do with around, to do with you, king of cups, in love with a man, okay, uh, <laughs> in love with a man, why is that any, in love with a man, is someone like in a same sex relationship, okay, I'm, I'm in love with a man, well that's, yeah, that's obvious, it's, <laughs> sorry, I'm, I'm talking to my spirit guy, rather than an argument, uh, King of Cups. So, there's your partner or your parent being a Scorpio or an Aries or a Life Path 4 as a parent. Okay. Um, let's see. Um, Aries. Aries. The sun. So, you've got the sun and the moon, ex-husband and wife, four of swords... The King of Swords. Wow, we're going to have to go down so we can see what's going on here, Aries. Okay, so to me, normally when there's a sun and a moon, that normally means father and mother. So there can be like an ex-husband, ex-wife type sort of energy as well as a partnership being here, meaning that I'm married, I'm committed, I'm with someone. Okay, but they can normally mean distance apart, the sun and the moon. Okay, 
So it can mean like, I'm a mother, there's the father, this is the father and I'm the mum, but we are not together anymore, blah, blah, blah. Now, if you are with someone, this is your counterpart, this is the guy, but there can be, if you guys are looking for like third party stuff, there's, there's two men there. So there could be a woman that's seen two men, but I'm not seeing it as that, but that can be, again. Okay. It's really not telling me too much information for you that's wrong, Aries that I can kind of help you out with at the moment. Let's see. The moon. The moon. Don't forget, Aries, smash that like button, guys. I need to get 200 likes. I'm only saying that because people join halfway through. Um, let's see. The moon. 200 likes, Aries, if I can. Um, eight of swords at home with my mum. There's some sort of, like, dynamic going on around parents. This could be a... I hate the word karmic energy. It just... It, people float it around saying the wrong reasons for stuff. There is this dynamic that's going on maybe with this mum where it might be where I'm avoiding my mother quite a bit because the, the, the tower can be where I'm on top of someone all the time and they can flip like a skyrocket, got very big temper. Could be Sagittarian maybe or a Taurus placement or a five. But either way, this is pretty much like someone that goes off like a skyrocket. Skylar, Tyler. Um, but like temper, like this is always always a fuse that's lit. And it's a very short fuse, very short tempered. Just say something wrong and you know, they're off. Let's see. The Wheel of Fortune for Aries is a two of wands. And also, there you go. I felt this. Sagittarius, like part five, Taurus vibe here. I'm also hearing the name Violet, Shepherd, also, or V. Anybody's got like V in their name. Um, or B, I'm also hearing Brian. Um, there's this person that waits around for someone else to choose. Like, there isn't really a path for me to choose. What's this King of Cups? I need to find out what this story is about. It normally tells me at the end sometimes. Jim, King of Cups, John, Jeff, Steph, um, Steve, Justice, and also the Magician. Well, I'm not picking up on any minor Arcana cards that are relating to arguments which really does kind of like make readings quite difficult for me anyway. Um, I keep hearing Julian, the name Julian or J. Is there anybody's got like J in the name? The son, the lovers is in the family, five of pentacles. I think this is like a, a reading that's kind of sporadic. It's not really like linear. Okay. There, there's kind of like this non-relationship. Like, I'm not even committed. I'm not even in a relationship. I'm single. I'm on my own. Okay. Not with anybody. But, like I said, if it doesn't relate to you as an Aries, it can as a Scorpio or a Life Path 4. Right? Very important. So, there's this single vibe. Not with anybody. I've kind of got men in my life for someone. But it could be a parent that's doing this here. The sibling has someone. If they do, or if it's you, I believe that there could be two men in someone's life, but they're not choosing any of them as a full-time commitment of a relationship. It's like a company, like male company, okay? Or I've got female company. Either way. But, like, I am not really into a relationship. I'm not really looking at full-time. I might be a mum, okay, and, you know, I'm just more concerned about that sort of stuff, really. I'm not really interested in a full-time commitment or relationship, even though I do have, like, two partners of men in my life that I possibly could be in a relationship with. I'm just kind of choosing to not be. It's kind of like an elderly uh, person, Aries. If, um, like, like I'm settled. Like, I prefer to just get home from work if I work, put my feet up, watch Netflix, look at my kids maybe or talk to my grandchildren, and 
like I, I, I'm too old for like going out, dolling myself up, having to put in loads of effort towards getting with a male. That means that I would have to see them all the time, be with them all the time. Someone would have to move in maybe. And I like my own time. I like freedom. I like to be on my own. And I don't really like to be Thai, me kangaroo down sport, someone from Australia maybe, but I put you, but I don't like to be tied down here. Don't want to be tied down. Wannabe, Mel, Melissa, Maria, um, Four of Swords. Yeah, there's the children energy. Now, if you are obviously with someone, you are. I'm just, you know, I'm not going to tell you how to navigate your relationship here because I'm not seeing anything wrong with a commitment or relationship if, if there is one here. Um... Someone could have a child or one of these people. You see, this is one of these people that is a Leo. It could be the child that is a Leo, but it can also be, like, if there's a woman here that's got two men, one of them could be a Leo. But it's coming through as this person here being Scorpio. Here. Life Path 4 is Scorpio. Trust me, I'll pick up on Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and I'll and numbering, and it will channel um, the dynamic of everybody watching it through being parts of their other chart. Um, the King of Swords, like the stories that I'm picking up, will Nine of Cups. See, it's it's again, Jen. It, it could be an engine, it could be Cancerian, Life Path 7 somewhere here, even though that it's not, not Piscean, could be here, but, um, which is a Life Path 3. Um, ah, dieting, nine, nine of Cups, dieting. You got a lot of these twos coming up that was in one of the readings, Capricorn. And I said, man, there are so many twos here, it's like, it's non-directional. It doesn't take a reading in a in a certain direction where I'm like, ah, I know what this is about. I can take it in a direction. It's kind of like, haha, this way, that way. <laughs> um, here. It might be difficult to find a direction of reading because I believe that a lot of people for this reading are actually single and there is, there is someone here, but for minority of people, majority of people... I'm picking up that they're just parent, they're parenting. Now, if you are with someone, this could just be about money and tax, tax and money. Okay. And then any of the, because majority of the time, a lot of people, while they subscribe to me sometimes, is mainly just the channeled stuff that I come out with that makes more sense than any other. The sense that makes none, Libra. But um, the cleaning and the inspection and the house inspection, okay, or someone being investigated tax-wise or investigating actual tax. I'm going through this myself because <clears throat> I'm trying to become um, VAT registered, but I have three businesses and I can't do them separately because I'm known as a sole trader. And when you're a sole trader and you go tax uh, VAT certified, you've got to basically incorporate them all into being a sole trader. So it won't let me individually take the driving stuff that I do as a sole trade to be able to claim VAT. Um, so I'm struggling around that at the moment of knowing what to do because I have to pay three tax um, returns at the end of the year. I have to pay for three. They're £250 each. So I am concerned about tax at the moment, about to juggle money and businesses and stuff that I'm kind of venturing into. So it can be that. Uh, this is always like tax certified business money assets, looking at different avenues of asset here. Okay. Could be like collateral on a house. I'm also hearing the name Carol as well. Caroline. Or Carol, Carolan, which is also a caravan. Um, 
So someone might be in a caravan or it could be something to do around housing or housing, Chris, but housing. Housey. That's my friend, Chris Housey. Housey. Um, that's all I've got for you, Aries. Sorry, guys. I don't know if that relates to you at all in any way. Can't always be about love and a direction of reading. You know, personal reading is always open below. But you do have Patreon. <clears throat> like I said, if I don't get 200 views, the next time I do an Aries reading is going to be down to you guys, right? So, like I said, man, if y'all interact with the channel, leave an emoji or a tick or a wish or anything you like in the comment section, smash the like button, and maybe join Patreon or, or the actual join button below. Join button gives you access to monthly readings, uh, personal readings when I go live. Uh, there's six or seven teaching videos. I normally add a few things over there for you guys because it is very cheap, but I like to give you stuff now and again. So I do add things now and again for people that are on the join button. But the majority of readings that you will find with me for Aries and everybody else is daily or every other day. I do as many readings as I can on Patreon, okay? So Patreon is below gold, silver, bron well, bronze, silver, gold. But uh, you probably want the silver tier. That's where you get the monthlies and all of the weekly readings uh, that I do constantly all the time. You get two weekly readings. <clears throat> so even if you want to class this as week one, okay, when over on Patreon, you'll get week one and then week two to look out for of what could be coming up after week one. So you get two weekly readings each week, okay? And then sometimes other cards. If you are interested in that, then the link is below to Patreon. Thank you very much, Aries. Don't forget, trying to get 200 likes if I can. It doesn't take you a second just to smash that like button. Okay, so thanks very much. Really do appreciate it, and I'll hopefully see you soon.